There are many websites uh, which give you assistance in creating coordinated brand colours. Here's one called Coolus, which I think is quite handy because it provides us with a swatch of colours that we can just click and it will copy the hex value into the clipboard. So I thought I'd uh, create a swatch colours and swatch colour shapes for Visio that I can collect these values and put them into a Visio shape. I'll just zoom in on this now and we can see that this list shape swatch colours has just added three swatch colour shapes. And if I just click on a text, the hex value there, I can paste it in and the colour gets transferred. So the shape is automatically translating the hex colour into RGB values that the Visio shape can understand. So I can paste those in there and this uh, particular shape here, the hex one, I can change the size of this quite easily. As you can see, so we can make this into a pretty little swatch and maybe change the width of the colour block, make it a little bit more like so. And how many more colours do I need? I need another three of those. So I'll just control D. So I've got three of those and I shall click and paste those in as well and the blue and the violet. So here we've got a swatch, which I can use uh, to use in any other shape. So let's say, for example, I drop a shape like so, and I put in a piece of text like this, and maybe I'll just increase the size of that a bit. And when I say increase the size, I really mean it. Why don't I just expand this now so we can see it better within Visio and expand the text. So now we can see that this shape, I want to apply some of these colors to it from my swatch. So I can select, for example, let's choose this one here, copy this value, and I can now go in and fill this shape. With that value, just go to the fill. Oh, sorry, I need to go to the more colors option, go to custom, and then I can just paste that value into there. Let's say I want to change the font. I can choose this particular color from here, just copy the hex value, and I can go to the more colors and go to custom and paste that value in there and I did it on the wrong shape. I do it on this shape and do the same thing. Go to more colors and paste it into the hex value down there. So hex is useful for copy and pasting because it's just one piece of text. I don't have to go in and uh, edit and put in the RGB values independently. So you can see that the data window for each of the swatch color shapes shows you the, the hex and the name, which could be overtyped with a name if you wanted to, and that can be then be seen what you want to call that color, or you can just leave it as the hex value. That Then the hex value can be copied, as you saw, from any point on there onto any of the, the colored bits of your shapes. Let's um, use this other color values shape that we've got on there, which is a call out. So if I now drag and drop that to click on that, you'll see it shows me the RGB value, or I can change that to show the, whichever, for example, the text background, the charcoal. Now we can see the charcoal value that's uh, been used in that particular shape. So this can, these can be used to annotate any swatch that you've got. So just add that in there and drag and drop that on there and I can then change the target cell to be the fill background. This can be used uh, connected to any of the swatch colors if you wanted to see those particular values that's in there, say as RGB or even as HSL or 
or even as the color map. So we've got the color format here. I can go and change it to show the HSL value of any of those cells. Then it can be used, as you can see, to maybe create a table for your color map of all the different values that you've got uh, for each of the named cells, named colors. Uh, you can annotate any graphics that you want to.